Hi everyone, it's Adam here. I am so excited about this. Um, I have been looking for something like this for since I started writing. Um, I'm a customer of Automatic. They are an OBD2 compatible uh, connected car monitoring system with the primary feature being error codes of your car and decoding them and uh, where your car is located um, and certain other statistics. The biggest thing for me is that I actually have my automatic connected with my IFTTT service which will save to a .txt file on my Dropbox of where my car started and went to today and then each day when I'm doing my, my life logging I can actually uh, keep track of how many miles I drove, where I went, uh, all kinds of cool statistics and now that I actually ride my motorcycle more than I drive my car, every year in March, I email Automatic and I ask, hey, do you support motorcycles yet? And the answer is always, no, we do not. Um, so this, when I saw this, I got so excited. Um, th from what I can tell, this is a company um, that makes a standalone uh, bike alarm system with GPS that you can purchase for like 200 bucks. It appears to me that Rever, uh, which is uh, partially owned by or um, partially funded by uh, BMW Motorrad, the motorcycle company, they, uh, BMW Motorrad is a big investor in Rever, and Rever appears to be uh, joined to the hip with a lot of the new BMW features. Although the connected feature that was supposedly works on my bike and Rever doesn't seem to work, but that's another issue. So it seems like uh, Rever um, teamed up with this company, they're Scorpio or Scorpion, and basically said, can you make something that works with your system that's compatible with Rever. And that's what we have here. It's called R-Link. Uh, it's $199 plus, I think, $11 a month. I'll link to everything below. You can check it out. You basically buy the hardware. By subscribing to the service, you are given um, Rever Premium for, quote, free, uh, which I think is $50 a year. But I had gotten mine a year ago on Black Friday for like $25 bucks or something for the year. Either way, um, this basically enables premium. I know I should get unboxed since I'm just almost done. So basically what happens when you turn the bike on, the battery will wake this up, it will come to life, it will search for a GPS signal, it will connect to GPS, then it uses 3G antennas. There are a lot of them. Unfortunately, in New Hampshire, there aren't many of them. In fact, a quick digression, my automatic car system uh, does not work very well, uh, relying mostly on GPS because um, most of my commute and most of my driving on New Hampshire, there is no 3G. Um, so this is going to have the same problem. It's no problem though. It at least logs your GPS location. So when it gets back onto 3G service, it will re-affiliate itself and hopefully upload the missing links. Again, this is all preliminary for me. I'm just trying it out. Um, so it's talking to Rever of where you are. It's also reporting back to you uh, various features like uh, if your car's, if your bike's moving, uh, statistics, uh, lean angle, gyroscope data, all kinds of stuff. But basically it requires linking up to your motorcycle and then it requires that you link it to Rever. So it's Rever affiliated. Uh, one other issue I have is that Rever is a social platform whereas automatic for my car is not, meaning uh, presumably any Rever friend will be able to see where I'm coming from, where I'm going, which is my house location. So it basically turns Rever into a private data logging service for me and not a data logging service where I want to share with people. And that's kind of a downside, I think, to this whole system is going to be the social aspect of Rever completely goes away unless you're only friends with people that you're like really good friends with because as soon as I start my bike, you're going to know where I am. It's going to tell you Adam started riding and it's going to show you my house. It's going to show you where I go to work. Uh, where I currently am, if I'm at a hotel for the night or something on a road trip, it'll show you where I am. So if you're trying to stalk me, this will help you do it because instead of me having to manually start the Rever riding, this does it automatically. I love Rever, but I've never used it as a data logging tool because I always forget to do it because I'm always fiddling other stuff. By the time I think about it, my gloves are already on and I'm already riding. This is going to eliminate that. So it, it's, it, it makes Rever a frictionless automated experience with the added benefit of up to 12 months Please make it lifetime. But over the 12 months, you can um, export or view your historical data. Automatic lets me go back seven years. I've got seven years of driving data in automatic across four vehicles. Um, I hope our link can become that as well over time. So, um, and last thing, because I'm shameless, um, I emailed 
the R link slash rubber people and rubber people came back to me and, and they said, um, I said, basically I'm looking for to buy your service, at, buy your device at cost and then pay full price for your service in exchange for three or four different YouTube videos. And they said, we'll think about getting you a press unit in which 24 hours later, I, I just decided to buy one full price. So I paid full price for this. Um, I just don't like to ask for free things. And as soon as someone says no, I was gonna buy it anyway, so here we are. So our link, Rever, I hope this helps you guys and I hope this helps sell more units and I really believe in you guys. So let's unbox it. Our link. So this actually shipped to me from the hardware manufacturer, not from Rever themselves. This is a brand new product. I think they've only, only sold like a dozen of these things at this time. Plain white box. I, I, I'm serious, I mean, it, it doesn't appear they sell very many of these so far. Quick start guide. Here's the device itself. Anything else in here? Feels pretty heavy. Oh yeah, there you go. Shit, more wiring. <laughs> My poor bike. All right, so what do we have here? The whole barrage of stuff. Looks like we've got uh, our GPS. Oh, got another GPS thing. I've already got one GPS thing on my bike, which I'll show you guys in a little bit, which goes to my dash cam. So we got some um, some 3M Velcro. We have here a PosiTab lock. This is basically, um, what's gonna happen here is this is gonna plug in, these two um, uh, wires are gonna plug onto your battery, and then you're gonna PosiTab into presumably your brake light um, um, connector, and then when you turn the bike on, it detects power, and then it, that way it's not draining your battery when your bike is off. It's just a little inline fuse there. And this plug probably just goes into the plug on the connector here. So, pretty simple. So you can basically manage this however you want to. Uh, here is um, looks like a small little RF connector, and this is gonna go to a GPS module, which I already have one of these on the bike already, but no problem, we can have two. And then uh, finally, here's the actual R, but um, bottom has the number you're gonna need to register it with Rever. Here's your GPS module, which has a little zip cable tie up there. Another module here, which I don't know yet. We'll figure that out in a minute. And then finally, your primary module here, which is uh, five little connectors. Uh, I'd open this up, but it'll probably void the warranty. So yeah, if you open this up, what do we have here? So we've got a uh, positive and negative, plus this line here, which goes out to, oh, this, this little line here is gonna basically look for the, um, the trigger of the power. Right. Here's the thing though, we're actually not going to be using this. We're going to be trimming this probably here. We're going to cut the white off completely in my scenario because I have a PDM60. If you have a fuse block or PDM60, all you need to do is just maintain this fuse and then chop it off there um, just for your power management. And then finally, we have our, uh, our GPS dongle which is gonna have that nice 3M tape. Uh, even though this comes with some 3M Velcro, I'm gonna use my own double-sided 3M to latch this onto the side of the bike. Quick start guide. So they're saying to uh, mount it under the seat or side cover, lay as flat as possible. There's your plus and minus, easy peasy. Uh, yeah, white is for the switch source, which I'll show you guys what that is in a few minutes for those of you that are following along at home. And we've got some, uh, yeah, tail light connectors. So BMW, I think it's going to be, what well, doesn't actually list BMW here, but BMW is going to be, uh, I'll, I'll show you, it's a red and blue connector. Touching the GPS. Now, the GPS module, not blocked by metal and pointed towards the sky. The antenna is magnetic, but also secure it with the included hook and cable loop ties. Plug in the R-Link. For installation, you have to be uh, on, and I presume outside, because it needs to be, no, just on. Uh, same for the GPS. So there's a couple of tech tips you can pause here if you want to. And then finally you uh, link it to Rever. And uh, that's that they have a video on their YouTube channel how to link, link the R-Link to Rever. Nothing on the back. Let's, let me show you exactly what my, uh, my bike situation is, and then we will uh, proceed from there.